have a good one. How are you doing? You right? How are you? Nice to see you, Yuka. How's life under the new manager? Six goals already. Looks like you're enjoying it. Yeah, I am. Obviously, um, we haven't had the best of starts, though, so um, that side's obviously something that we still need to work on. But um, I feel like, especially in the last few games, we're starting to get somewhere. Um, it's never easy having a, a new manager come in and adapting that straight away. So we've needed that that little bit of time. But I think, um, especially the last game, we we started to see what, what we can do, and um, hopefully we can build on that. That's the now, Dom. I want I want to rewind it back because I want to learn more about you. And you've represented a couple of the biggest clubs in the country in Chelsea and Liverpool, but sort of came at the wrong time for you, didn't it? You were behind some big hitters there, weren't you? Some apprenticeship, you must have picked up some amazing tips. Yeah, I think that's the main thing, really. I think, especially at that age, it's never going to be easy. Uh, obviously, when I was at Chelsea, I was there from from knee height. So, um, working on the way up, getting to the first team, and this Chelsea, especially back then, was pretty much impossible to break into. So, um, yeah, I had to take a different route. I uh, obviously went to Liverpool, and um, yeah, that front three were crazy. <laughs> crazy, honestly. Yeah. Cool, let's step it in a little bit. <laughs> Probably yeah, one on. of the best threes, uh, front three world football's ever seen. Well, it's seen. iconic, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it had sure. a little bit of everything, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it did. So, um, yeah, but to learn from it was was amazing. Um, and yeah, like I said, probably came a little bit too soon for me, but um, I'm forever thankful for my time there. I um, learned so much and um, yeah, obviously came here and uh, things are, are picking up. Yeah, came down here. £20 million move. It was a, a club record for you at the time under Hedy Howe. Was that a big decision to leave Liverpool and, and come to Bournemouth? Yeah, I think so. But um, I think the most important thing to do uh, is play. Um, obviously, when I was at Liverpool, I wasn't playing uh, week in, week out, starting week in, week out. So um, that's just something I wanted to do. And um, I had that opportunity to, to come on Bournemouth and, and fight for that. So um, when we got relegated to the Championship, obviously it was, wasn't was wasn't great. But um, I saw it as an opportunity as well. Um, I think it was kind of like a, a blessing in disguise, really, to, to go down there. Now, and, now, we can look back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say that now. But um, yeah, to go there and, and play every game and, and score the goals I did um, definitely helped me in my career. And um, obviously getting promoted back, especially with, with Bournemouth, was was amazing. And um, yeah, I think that definitely helped me to, to have those goals uh, behind me. Uh, definitely helped me when I came back to the front. So we got brought back to the Premier League. You got six last season. You've already equaled that. You got six this season. I mean, those numbers, you must be really happy, especially already emulating last season's tally. Yeah, no, for sure. I think um, I just wanted to build on last season. I think that's what I said at the, the start of the season. Um, but sort of like when, when I was in the champ and I had that, that first season and the second season I kicked on a lot. I think um, I want to sort of do that again this year. Um, like you said, I started well, matched my, my tally from last year already. So uh, that's that's a positive. And it's going to get smashed out of the water. Yeah, it? let's hope so. <laughs> so um, yeah, still, still many games to go. So just keep ticking them off. Solanke's in here and touches it over the line. Things are going well at the moment, but it's not been easy, has it? You've come through a lot of adversity and criticism in your time as a professional footballer. Yeah, there's been a lot of times where there you get criticised a lot, especially being a striker, because um, everyone judges you on goals at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, sometimes it's been difficult, but um, that's part of football. You got to sort of like block that out and uh, uh, keep going. I've been there, man. When when you yeah. miss that chance, you got fifty thousand people calling <laughs> you rubbish. Me about it. <laughs> <laughs> but me you, about it. but it does. It, you develop like a, a thick skin, don't you? Yeah. Was that always the way, just to keep moving, keep striving forward, regardless of of the outside noise? Yeah, I think the thing with football is uh, it changes so quickly. <laughs> Honestly, it's like you go ten games, everyone's battering you, and then two games you score in a row, score the winner, and then everyone loves you. So I think um. That's that's sort of always in your mind. You just know, like, next game you could score a hat trick and then the world just changes. So um, I think that's important in football, never to get too down or, or get too high because um, everything can change. That's a that's a really good attitude to have, especially as a young man, because it took me quite a while to to, to get to that point. But recently you just signed a new four-year deal down yep. here on the South Coast. You must be quite happy down here. <laughs> yeah, you could say that, but... um. No, like I said, I'm I'm happy probably playing my best football, um, getting a lot of game time. So I think um, that's the main thing, really. Um, I feel loved and appreciated here as well. And do you feel now that, obviously, a really good start to the season, do you feel now that you've found your feet in the Premier League? Because there's a big difference, isn't there, between the Championship and the Premier League, the, the yeah. VAR and things, and mm. the, the way, I suppose, teams are more organised, you get less chances. Yeah. So it, it, it's much tougher, isn't it? Yeah, I think... 
probably the last thing he said is, is the chances. Obviously, when we was in the championship, we were just one of the best teams in the league. Every game, we knew that we was going to get chances and stuff. So the Premier League, every game's tough. And, and obviously, probably not one of the best teams in the Premier League. So um, the chances come come a lot fewer. So um, you need to take them when they come. And I think um, that's the most important, well, the, probably the biggest difference that um, you need to be on it. Because, you know, you might get one chance a game and, and that's the be and end all really to, to get the goal. All right, well, we've come down here for a masterclass. We're going to look at some of your goals and we're just going to run through them, yeah? Sounds good. Nice. Right, Dom. Got a few of your finishes for us to look through here first. Cool. This one's going to hurt me, I'm not going to lie. We're <laughs> going to go to the Amex this season, okay. where you get what is a fortunate goal? Um, how I how it comes about? Yeah, to be fair, the position I'm in, um, the way it falls to me is, is fortunate, but I think um, this is the sort of stuff that we work on a lot. The manager loves loves us pressing high up the pitch, and um, this was sort of the game plan. You can see we sort of let the keeper just have the ball, uh, go kind of man to man. And yeah, the opportunity came for, for right to press and um, timed it perfectly. And I was just in the right place at the right time. And yeah, it was, a, it was a cool finish. To the untrained eye, this looks easy. But I think as that ball's just there, you've maybe got less than a second and you already know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, I think that's, that's the main thing. You need to make that decision so fast that I'm going to shoot. It looks easy, but it's not, especially taking a touch and straight onto my weak foot to to kind of lift it as well. Right, next up we've got Newcastle against your old manager. <laughs> Talking about this. Yeah, this one, to be fair, I was, I was just on my toes. I think it's always important, especially when we're moving forward, because you know the defenders are not going to be, be running back towards their goal. So I was sort of just trying to stay on my toes and I was a bit a bit lucky that the, the tackle fell into my path. Um, yeah, I was the quickest to react. And No, I'm not having that. It's not lucky. Because yeah. you're, you're alive, you've got yeah, to be alive. Yeah, yeah. Defenders aren't lucky, they'd be standing looking at the ball, yeah. flat-footed, you're on your toes and alert, and that is what ultimately gets you the goal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice goal against your manager. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> nice goal against anyone, isn't it? Yeah. Right, this one, I, I really like this one. You haven't got any other options with them, Wolves at yeah. home. I actually like that finish, you know. I scored quite a few of those now, so, um, yeah, I think... Uh, he, he must be nice to play with. Fantastic. Yeah, we have we have a great connection, me and him. I think it stems back from the championship. We was always scoring or assisting each other. So um yeah, I think we have a, a great relationship and um I work on that finish quite a lot. I like I like it, I feel comfortable um with it. So um when the ball doesn't come in straight away and I am sort of like kind of going in front of it, I'm always thinking if it comes behind me then that's that's the sort of finish that, that I'll try. And just try and use the pace that's already on yeah, the ball, exactly. re redirect. Redirect, it. yeah. Who have we got? Oh Brentford, this I like this goal. I like this goal a lot. Everyone expects you to hit with your left foot here. Chopping. What I want to ask you about this goal. So as you front bend me up here, as you're cutting on your right foot, are you deliberately cutting, hitting back through his, his legs? Through his legs, yeah. I think um, that kills the keeper because ultimately they're hoping a defender blocks that so they can sort of like save their near yeah. post. So um, if it goes through the legs, then it's a higher chance of, of it going in. It's just... Um, Hoping that they missed the block, really, which which happened here, and um, yeah, it was a great finish. Is this something it's that you deep. practice in training? Yeah, I think um, obviously in training you get chances all the time, so um, you always try and do different finishes. Are you calling defenders here? It's, you mean it's easy? You <laughs> nah, want the chances? Nah, nah. I'm, not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying that, but um, no, nah, like you said, I think um, in training you always get in these positions, so um, you see what works and what doesn't work. Right, last one we've got for you: Spurs away. Delicate, I would yeah. call it. It was a was a great game as well for us to, to come back and win. But um, you're involved in the build up there. Yeah. What I will say is that ball cut falls very kindly at a beautiful pace. It, yeah, it uh, does. into your path, Straight doesn't it? Straight into my stride. Yeah. So now you've got the ball coming from your left hand side. Yeah. You've also got a crazy Romero running from your right hand side. who's going to take everything, and you've got the goalkeeper. So you've got that vision, that 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 sort of periphery. Yeah. To be aware that Romero's going to come in, mm -hmm. he's going to ground, so therefore you've got to just dink it over. Yeah, exactly. And make it look super easy. Yeah. It's about staying cool in that moment. I think, like you said, there's so many bodies coming in, so to just do that, the little little death dink. That is beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it? That's nice. Well, thank you very much, Dom, for running through this with me. It's thank been good fun, you. man. Thank nice to see you. Appreciate Keep up the good work, yeah? Would do. All the best, big man. Appreciate it.